Hi, my name is Remy Bulbul. I'm the manager for fund development with VON Canada operating across southwestern Ontario and right here in Chatham-Kent. VON has been working and servicing Chatham-Kent residents for over 80 years, operating across Canada for over 120. Here in Chatham-Kent, we work with children from the ages of four years old all the way up to end of life care through our Kids Circle programs, our nursing, our PSW and in-home supports, and so many things in between. VON is working to help people live their best lives every day. Let's go take a look and see what's happening across Chatham-Kent with VON. We're sort of talking about how VON really works in a niche kind of a way sometimes to be able to respond to what a specific town even or region might actually need. Yes. People often fall through the cracks mm -hmm. and um, when there's a, a gap identified, um, VON has been that organization that stepped forward, mm -hmm. um, often using charitable dollars to be able to design a program to fit that need. And making healthcare dollars go as far as they can is, is pretty much the important bit because we have an aging demographic. Yeah. People are living longer with chronic disease. Mm -hmm. Dementia is on the rise. And, um, and the needs of the community is, is, are just getting more intense. Yeah. So doing more with less is the way to, to make that, um, those healthcare dollars uh, spread wider. So partnerships like we have here at the Chatham County Health Alliance um, with our clinic here in partnership with our nursing staff as well as their nursing staff are hugely important to providing a better sort of patient experience, right? How have you seen partnerships like that work and how do you see that working today in a way that we can provide a more sort of holistic experience for our patients? Well, I think the only way that um, healthcare can be sustained is through partnerships so that we're not overlapping and not knowing what each other's doing. Right. So, um, for instance, uh, we have a PIC team, a palliative care consultation team, and there's six VON nurses on that that have extra training in pain right. and symptom management. We meet at a table of people from um, care coordinators, uh, social worker, nurse practitioner, and doctor, and our goal is to provide the best um, pain and symptom management mm -hmm without having people have to go to the emergency department. So another way that VON is really innovative, I find, is in our use of technology and how we use that to not only provide a better sort of patient or client experience, but also to be more effective in the way that we spend money, yes. as well as time, right? Yes, yeah, so a good example of this is the eShift program mm. that VON um, is a leading um, right. exponent of. And uh, that allows for care technicians to be in the home supporting people under the guidance of a nurse or a therapist therapist connected directly by technology to address any concerns that are evolving in, in the visit. And what that's doing is it's providing more face time for, for patients and yeah. clients, but also um, leveraging the use of, of uh, clinical professionals mm. at a much uh, lower cost per visit. A VON nurse that's going into the home is definitely going in to make sure that, okay, health-wise, we're good and, and, and we're safe. But that's a very different experience that you would get um, through anything else, right? So I, our, our nurses are very well trained, I think, to be able to, to see all of those different bits and pieces, right? So does the training component really sort of change how a nurse is going to be able to interact in someone's home and the different type of training that oh, they yes. get? Yes, you need, you need to have critical thinking skills. You need to be autonomous. And these are reasons why I love being in the community at VON because uh, you're given opportunities to learn and then you're given the autonomy to go and visit these people. And so you need extra training. You know, that's, I'm not just going in there to change a little wound. It's the whole psychosocial, spiritual aspect. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. There's some misconceptions that people have about VON that you know we only work with seniors or that we only work in nursing, um, which is couldn't be further from the truth, actually, oh, right? That's right. No, it's a, it's an incredibly diverse organization, and um, a lot of people who who think that they know VON don't really know VON. Right. 
Uh, we have programs that, that deal with, um, with children right the way through to end of life palliative care. So not many people would know that we are the lead agency, the transfer payment agency for the student nutrition program that provides breakfast and snack services to kids in school. And then as people age, you know, we have um, programs that allow people to stay um, healthy and strong. It's um, things like Meals on Wheels, home help services, adult day programs, transportation programs. We have a whole list of things that, that we deliver and they're all about strengthening communities. Right. We're out today at Grand Retirement Village here in Chatham. Uh, tell me a little bit about the services that we're working with with our clients here at Grand. Um, I know we've got some PSW services here. Um, do we do that across the community, across Chatham Kent? Like, how does that uh, how does that work? We do. We do. We we service. Uh clients of both in some retirement homes in Chatham Kent as well as in their own homes and across okay. Chatham Kent. Um, some retirement homes as such as the one we're going to go into are true retirement living okay. where some are heavier care and we're in there mm. to um, complement uh, the clients, complement the care to the clients that are you know may not be full retirement home um, care anymore they require some more care so, so then we're they brought need in. a little bit of, of right. extra help okay so we see tens of thousands of um we, we do tens of thousands of psw um, visits throughout the year um, i know last year alone we did over thirty thousand visits in in chatham kent uh, which is incredible what i think is interesting is that a psw i think is a special kind of a mm -hmm. kind of kind of a care provider they do something that is kind of above and beyond. Do you find that our PSWs within VON kind of provide a different type of service than you would normally see, say in a static facility? Uh, I mean, our PSWs, I've always said, I mean, I've worked, I've been a nurse for over 20 years. Our PSWs, I think no matter what capacity we're in, there are eyes and ears out there for clients. There are, yeah. there are true frontline staff. Uh, they're the ones that are seeing these clients uh, for a first visit. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, they provide they ensure that their clients are getting holistic care. They're the ones that will reach out to their team lead, uh, that someone needs a nursing referral or could use the nursing referral. Uh, they're just, they're indispensable, they're amazing. So you've been coming to see Miss Betty for about a year or so now, and you've seen a huge progression uh, with her, right? But it looks like you guys have almost sort of built a relationship that you're, you're a friend as well as a, as a healthcare provider coming to see her and, and help her out. So tell me a little bit about sort of what that visit looks like when you guys are coming, when, when you're coming a couple times a week. Um, Betty returned from the hospital and uh, she found it hard to do her personal care and especially the showering. And um, the Lynn stepped in and, and offered VON to come in and help her. And since I come into this building, Grand Retirement, I see several people and Betty's one of them. You know, I'm there just to support her, make sure she has safe transfers right. and help her with dressing. And Betty wears compression stockings. So I help her with those. They're mm -hmm. very difficult to put on. Right. And um, whatever else she needs, yeah. you know. It's a nice safety check as well, right? So if your family is not sort of close by, I find that, you know, my, my family is away and if my father or my mother is sort of far, far from me, it's nice to know that there's someone mm -hmm. who's coming in to, to talk to them and to visit with them and to see them. If I wasn't able to have her, I wouldn't be here because there wouldn't be enough help for me. Mm -hmm. So that means I would have to move on to a retirement home which I feel I'm not ready to do yet. Right. I want my independence as long as I can. And I'm very grateful for, for your services because as she said with my shower, sometimes my balance is not good right. and she's right there for me. So it avoids a fall. Right. And I have to say that I am afraid to get out of the, the shower. Oh, that's and scary. That's, well, I'm so thankful for her. She so says you end every visit with a hug. Yeah. Um, why is that? I don't know. She's huggable. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, a lot of mine I do. I give them a little hug. It, you know, it goes a long way. It means a lot to them if they don't have family around or, um, you know, it, it doesn't cost anything. So you're a smart instructor, so you work both in home and outside of the home in sort of community classes as well, helping people to sort of stay mobile or how does it, how does it work, especially inside the home? 
Um, well, we have a, a program, and um, the program has specific uh, exercises, functional exercises um, that we do um, each time that we visit, and um, they're designed to improve um, the activities of daily living. Mm -hmm. So what kind of a person would be the type of client or patient that you would see in an in-home SMART program? Um, it could be someone that um, has been in the hospital. Maybe they um, have been, maybe they've had um, a hip replacement or maybe they've had a fall and so they're recovering from that uh, type of incident. Mm -hmm. And um, so they're back home and they, they need to get stronger and they need to build their balance mm -hmm. uh, in order to stay in their home and to be able to just uh, do their daily activities. Yeah. You know, every day I'm almost seeing people say, oh yeah, I couldn't do that, you know, last week. Mm -hmm. And so when you see them uh, brighten up, you know, and they have this huge smile, it's like, you know, that's rewarding in itself because you know that, you know, maybe they weren't able to bend uh, as far and stretch their leg as far um, and maybe lift their leg as much. Um, but then they say, well, I couldn't do that before. I couldn't do that at all before. And then they say, but I can now. And it's like, to them, it was like a huge accomplishment because they realize that, you know, this is really helping. So we don't do any of this alone we depend very heavily on our community, right? Some yes. programs are funded completely through donor dollars, right? They're funded completely through charitable dollars. But we do that work in partnership with so many other people. I think that it's interesting that people don't necessarily know that VON is a charity, right? That VON actually needs their help. VON um, helps to pull all that together through identifying unique programs and partnering with others. And oftentimes it's the charitable piece that allows those programs to start. Right. And uh, there's been a whole number of programs that VON has innovated around using those charitable dollars that are now part of the fabric in communities. Right. And that's really important. Hey Erin, so we're at the Kids Circle in Chatham-Kent today. So tell me a little bit about Kids Circle. What is it? Why is it important? What does it do for kids across Chatham-Kent? We support children aged 4 to 18 um, who have lost a loved one, have a loved one with a life-threatening illness, or uh, if the child has a life-threatening illness themselves. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Kids are welcome to hang up a picture of their loved one on our tree. Um, it's sort of just to remember them and to honor them and the relationship that they shared with their loved one. Um, and it's just a reminder for them that you know they're they can they can think about them when they're in this space and they can talk about them when they're in this space. Yeah. Yeah. For kids around the rest of Chatham Kent and that don't live in Chatham proper, for maybe kids in Tilbury or in Blenheim or in Ridgetown or in Wallaceburg, for instance, where do those how, how do we support those kids? Children who live outside of Chatham and in Tilbury and those outlying areas um, can receive visits at their school, one-to-one um, -one visits at mm -hmm. their school for support. Um, that's so, you know, that's in case they don't drive or they can't get yeah. into town to make those appointments. Um, so we're supporting kids where they are, sort of with the resources in their own community. Yes. So one of the really beautiful things I think that we do is to remind children that it's okay to remember and to hold the person that they've lost um, in a really beautiful way. And one of the things that we do is the Memorial Butterfly release every summer. Um, so I know that uh, you've been involved with that for, for quite a bit. Can you talk a little bit about sort of how the kids have seen that event and, and, and why it's interesting and why it's important for them? Mm -hmm. So the kids often start a choir um, to, sing at, uh, to sing songs during the ceremony. Um, so kids who really like music, really find that's a great way for them to express how they're feeling. Um, so they sing a song during the ceremony and they wear a t-shirt of their uh, love, a uh, t-shirt with a picture of their loved one on it. So they can, um, you know, visually see and remember that person. Um, and then at the end of the ceremony, um, they all get to release a live butterfly um, to memorialize their loved one. Mm -hmm. um, so kids really, find that that's like an active way to, to remember their loved yeah. one, right? It's like putting an action to it. So it, exactly. they really enjoy that. Um, and a lot of times the butterflies end up, you know, like landing on them or like they, you know, they feel like their loved one is, you know, part of that butterfly and they, yeah. yeah. 
VON has incredible people working there, you know, people that, that literally give their lives to the care of others. And that's not just the staff, it's people that volunteer as well. I mean, we have volunteers that have volunteered for VON for decades, like 30 years or more. And um, it's, it's almost like a lifetime of service. And that passion and commitment is something that I think sets VON apart. As you can see, VON is working every day across Chatham-Kent, whether it's with our Kids Circle programs and children as young as four, all the way through to end of life and palliative care. From nursing, to volunteer visiting, to PSW services, VON is working every day to make sure that we help our residents to live our best lives every single day.